Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Sasha and for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Dominique Cosmetic Rustic Glam Palette. I'm super excited about this palette because I've had this for, man, a few months actually. Oh my gosh, the packaging is like so gorgeous. So right here's the, the outer packaging. It's like a foil. Oh my gosh, it's just so pretty. I love the color. So right here's the packaging. It's like really big. Like this palette is huge and i love the packaging like the details of it like the design it looks like a moroccan style oh i think this palette is very gorgeous and it comes with like a nice fancy mirror too pan sizes they're really huge oh my gosh i think the color story is very beautiful i'm so excited to use this so i'm just gonna do a few swatches and we'll see what kind of look i make today but i kind of wore this green hoping that i can use this kind of green color the math feels so buttery. Alright. Okay, so right here's the swatches I just did. I think the color story is very beautiful. I love the way this swatch. This swatch is like the most beautiful. This sheet right here, the one I kind of eyeing on, it didn't swatch as well. I think because of the shade. But it's still a pretty color. And a few of these colors didn't swatch so well. So maybe I just have to build it up. So I think all of the shades... They were all very like buttery, but some of them did have like some fallout. Like it was, it didn't feel like it was like bad quality, but it felt kind of like really powdery, but not in a cheap way. So I think maybe you can build it up, but I'm expecting some fallout in some of these shades. So I'm probably gonna leave these swatches on my arm just for reference, so I can see what shades I can use. All right, so let's get started.
this is the look so far and I think it's coming out really good. Oh my gosh, I'm like in love. And I'm just going to do the rest of my makeup so I could do the eyeshadow underneath too because I need to put some concealer and foundation, you know. Oh, so let's get ready. All right, so I'm back and I did like most of my makeup. So now I'm just going to finish up my under eye. I think I'm going to mix a pop of color with this and this color. So I'm now I'm going to add this shade right here. So right here's the final result and I think it's like so beautiful. I love working with these colors. Even though the swatches on my arm didn't come out like super like good swatches, it, the formula of it is like very buildable. And I was surprised like I was able to build off this shade even though it was like coming out as a very pigmented at first. But you can build it off and it becomes like a such a beautiful like sea foam green color as you can see. I love this shade too. So this was the shimmer I used like a cut crease that I did. And this was what I used for the inner corner. And there's like so much shade in this that I could use and I could do like so many different looks. So this palette retails around I think either $42 or $44. I didn't get it for that price. I got it at a discounted price through Ipsy subscription. I bought it as an add-on for $18. So I think it was like such a steal. So I'm like very very happy that I got this palette. Like, even though it looks very beautiful on, on pan, like I was very surprised that I was able to work with these colors. I use about five shades. So I use this blue, this seafoam green, this and this and this one. Actually, I use six shades. That's already half the palette itself. And imagine all the different looks I can use with it. Like I think this palette is like very worth it. So also, I can't wait to work with the other colors like the pinks and purples and then the bright blue. I did work a little bit with that blue, but not so much. But you can also do more of a neutral look too if you don't want to add any color. I think it will still look really pretty just adding these colors. But overall, this palette, oh my gosh, I love this palette so much. I, I probably say that about every palette, but this formula is like very easy to work with and I have no trouble working with this color story. It seems like all the shades, it's very buildable. So I really like that. I think this palette was worth the purchase and I'm very happy that I got to try it out. And I'm looking forward to making more looks with this too. It looks like, oh, all the shades look so beautiful. All right, so that's about it. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you guys think. Do you guys like the look that I came up with? I really do. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.